Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video. Today guys, we're looking at a Glaceon Judge Marshadow Disruption Lock deck here in the standard format. Uh, for again the video, I want to say thank you guys for 3,800 subscribers. And I also want to say, if you have not subscribed to the channel already, make sure to help me on the road to 4K. Just wanted to say thanks for 3,800 subs. I'm hoping we can reach 4K by the end of February when the new set comes out. So I'm excited for that. Um, I also do want to say... I did an original game with this deck, and I forgot about Guzma, and I did not have Guzma in this deck originally. And I had this insane match against a Quagsire deck. Like, this game was nuts. Like, I'm not- this was- this game was like 25 minutes long. And it was a very crazy game. So I'm gonna upload that game as a video either tomorrow or sometime during the week. Just because the game I got was so crazy, I had to like- I had to like attack and do really weird things to win the game because I did not have Guzma in the deck and my opponent was like playing cards like Switchraft which was hurting me. And you'll see when you watch the game. I just can't get over that game I just had. But yeah, we're gonna look at today's deck which is a Glaceon lock deck. Kind of similar to like Glace like an Exodia kind of a deckish, not really though. It's the best we have right now. So Glaceon has the ability Freezing Gaze. As long as Pokemon is your active Pokemon, your opponent's Pokemon GXs and EXs in play and their hand in the discard pile have no abilities. So, the idea of this deck is you want to go turn one Glaceon, play like a Judge, or play Marshadow on them, so that they don't have, so they go a four card hand, and then you just have Freezing Gaze, and they're just stuck with their hand. Pretty much the combo. We, the good thing about Freezing Gaze is you shut down all kinds of abilities. You shut down Tapu Lele, so they can't do Elms. You shut down Zoark GX, you shut down Alola Ninetales GX, you shut down Lycanroc GX, you shut down Rayquaza GX, so you shut down... So many abilities with Freezing Gaze, and that is what this deck is all about. I gotta sneeze. <coughs> so, that's this combo. It's just a... It's a disruption deck, is what it is. Um, and we're just gonna try and get a Torrent Glaceon off, and then we wanna try and Marsh Shadow or Judge their hand down to four cards, and then just hope they don't have anything because Freezing Gaze locked them. But Freezing Gaze is also just really good against Zork GX, and also really good against... Um, yeah, really good against Zork GX, and really good against Lola Ninetales. So those abilities aren't going to be able to be used, and that's the power of this deck. Glaceon is your only main attacker, though. One of the only issues of this deck is you have to attack with Glaceon, but Glaceon's fine enough. Uh, you have Frost Bullet, which can do 90 and 30 to a bench Pokemon. Pretty good at attack, setting stuff up. And then you have Polar Spear, which allows you to do 50 for each damage counter on your point active, so you can take like a big one-shot on something, which is really important, too. So Glaceon is a good attacker by itself. Hope and the goal is just to carry the game with Glaceon. It's basically what this comes down to. But there's other support to the deck. Obviously, March Shadow makes up a lot of the support. Uh, but we are playing other things. Alola and Muck is here. Matchups like Gramble, uh, where they only use like a Ranguru, which you can't shut down. You know, you can use Muck to stop them. Uh, we are playing Tapu Lele GX or Wonder Tag, just obviously with Wonder Tag. I am playing Macargo. Smooth is really good to get any card you need, specifically like your DCEs and stuff like that when you need to find them the most. I am playing. One Ranguru. I do not regret putting this card in this deck, but it is important to play a Ranguru for resource management, I find. I just like having the Ranguru here to get your stuff back. One Ditto as a fifth EV, or to go obviously into Muck or just Muck Cargo. That's for the Pokemon. There's no real like other water type techs you can play in this deck. Um, there's not much else to play. So you just gotta rely on Glaceon. You can attack with Lele, and if you really have to, you can do profound knowledge. So now we go into the items. I am playing one one Aqua Patch, yes, I am playing one Aqua Patch in here. Or the ability to get a Water Energy back onto a Glaceon. I think it's just a really good card when you have to retreat. Two copies of Energy Lotto. Again, just to go turn one Glaceon, you know, you, you might with Water. If you do Mar Shadow multiple times one turn, you do Energy Lotto to increase the odds of finding your Water Energy. Pretty good for also getting DC and in in when you need it also to go turn two attack. So Energy Lotto is a great card in this deck. Really underrated with these type of two Energy attacking decks. Two Enhanced Hammers. Great against Zoark. We got one Escape Rope and one Switch and one Escape Board to kind of complement not starting with Eevee. If we start with like a Mar Shadow or a Ditto or Slugma, we can try and switch out of it and go into Glaceon on our first turn. That's why we play so many switching cards. One Mysterious Treasure just to get Mar Shadow. Three Nest Balls to get like Eevee or Slugma. I am playing the one Pal Pad just to obviously get our supports back. One Nest Stretcher to get our Pokemon back. Obviously, again, we got our Switch, four Ultra Balls. Um, now we can go into our supporters. Pretty straightforward. I am playing one Acerola. Something I do want to play two of, though, but we have Acerola for Glaceon. Four Cynthia's for Draw. Two Guzmas. I did forget to put Guzma in here originally, and I got a game with it, and it was an insanely crazy match. But yeah, we now have Guzma in the deck. Another great switching card on turn one. One copy of Faba. 
really good also to get rid of special energies. Two judges, again, one of the kind of strategies of this deck is to use judge and Glaceon to put, you know, your point of four card hand on the first turn. Three lilies for draw, one tank Liza, you know, pretty good for the switch effect if you ever have Muck in play or Macargo in play. It's really good to switch them out. And it's a nice backup draw supporter card in some situations. Three choice bands, really good for Glaceon to do that extra 30 to two shot stuff. Again, one escape board for free retreat, four DCEs, and six waters. Pretty good with that. You know, we don't need to play seven. I played seven originally in my original list I did without the Guzma. So I'm playing six, but we have these energy lottos. And yeah, that's basically it for the list. Again, our strategy is to get a Glaceon up on our first turn, lock our opponent from doing Lele or Zoark, judge him to a four card hand, and then just hope that we disrupt them long enough for us to just sweep with Glaceon. So that's the strategy of the deck. Let's go get some games on PCGO, see the deck in action, and we'll see if we get some quick concedes. We'll see. All right, guys, go do some games, see what we can do. Hopefully, we get some good luck. We might get quick concedes. Again, you get Glaceon up and you judge him to a four card hand. Alright, we're up against Rayquaza Vikabolt, so hopefully we go first. Shutting down Rayquaza's ability is huge. Shutting down Lele can be big too. So I really hope we go first here. This deck does kind of rely on going first quite a bit. Nice, okay. And as long as we can turn one Glacier on them, we should be good. Let's see what we get. Okay. Not the best hand. I get, actually, if we could draw like Lily or something, that'd be really good because we have Marshadow. My original list also played three Marshadows. I just took out a Water and a Marshadow for the uh, for the two Guzmas, but yeah. All right, oh, would you judge? Not helping. All right, we'll get an Eevee down. How many Waters do we have? We have Energy Lottos. We prize two Waters. I don't like the odds of that. This is the scary thing about this deck is relying on stuff like Judge Help. We're probably going to need Muck. I don't really... I guess we'll put this on Eevee. Alright, we're going to drop Mars Shadow. We've got to hope we draw Water Energy here. Nice, we got it. Nice. Alright, we got the lock up on turn one. He's playing Rayquaza, so yeah, he can't do Lele. He can't do Rayquaza. The only thing he could do is Guzma something up that doesn't have Glaceon's ability. We do Cynthia. Probably want to save our judges, though, too, for when he does Tempest. We got Muck. That's pretty good. Um, I think I'm going to pass. We'll play those Energy Lottos next turn. And that's the point of this deck. You just try to turn one lock them with Glaceon and put into a four-card hand. They're playing Rayquaza. They can't do Layla. They can't do Rayquaza. They can't do two of their big abilities. And yeah, we can probably win here if he doesn't do anything. He's going to Cynthia. It's not surprising that they get something to get out of it. But again, they just can't do a lot of their abilities. So it's, like, still pretty bad for them gonna pass so we should be able to win here should be able to win i'm not gonna play the lay lay down all right we're gonna energy lotto there we go we win and that is what the deck is all about you just want to win the game as quick as possible there we go rayquaza is one of our better matchups assuming we go first if we go first we can really easily beat rayquaza if we go second we struggle with it yeah, so he couldn't do Rayquaza, he couldn't even do, well, he could do Marshadow, but yeah, he could do Lele, he could do Rayquaza. There we go. The turn one lock, oh, this guy's playing like one of every light energy ever printed in the Pokemon TCG. There we go, that's basically what the deck is all about. I, don't know, I told myself I wasn't going to be getting those five packs, but I don't know, I'm actually getting pretty close to them. I mean, I am on a five win streak, but I'm getting pretty close to them. Maybe I should just go for those five lost hundred packs. This video may be a bit shorter because, again, you will get quick games with this deck sometimes, seeing how long they last. But that the other game that I got with no Guzmas was a really, really, was a really good game. So that will definitely probably be in this, not in this video, but it'll be its own video just because the game was so crazy. All right. So this is an example of not getting the Glaceon to start. Actually, our hand is so bad we can't even do anything. So that's not good. What are we up against? Malamar. Malamar's tricky. He has given us a couple of things, though. I mean, if I can straight up just draw, like, Eevee Water, I can just Guzma. That'll also work, I guess, depending if he benches anything. But we didn't get a good hand. We can struggle with Malamar quite a bit. We do shut down Dawnwings, which can be relevant. That's not good. Wow. 
Okay, it didn't matter. We can't even lock him on turn one. But yeah, this hand is abysmal. He's gonna have to pass in shame. Sometimes you can't get the lock, sometimes you will. It's not a given. But yeah, not good. Would have been nice to get it, but we weren't able to get there. We just don't have good hand in general. The ideal setup here would for be A, he can't do Lele. B, we try and get Muck in place so we can't do Giratina. But nope, just not gonna happen. Now let's see what he does. He's gonna put a Nala down. Okay, so maybe this is just like a baby Malamar deck. So, he's not really playing many GXs then, other than Lele, which, unfortunately, we could not stop in time. Yeah, Lily for six. We'll see what we can do. Maybe we can hit a Marshadow here off our top deck, get his hand down pretty low. That'd be great. We got an energy in the discard. This game ain't going good. If we don't get a Pokemon, we're just going to probably lose in the coming turns. Um, what to do? I don't even think it's... I can Magma Ring. Just to buy some time, I guess we can do this. Um... I mean, I could have Guzma Lele and like, Magma Ringed it. But here... I have a couple turns, hopefully. You can't Guzma. I'm going to save the Faba in case he, like, drops an Altar of the Moon or something. I don't know. We'll see what we can do. I mean, if he just gets Dawn Wings here, the game's probably all over in a, coming, in a couple turns. The game will probably end in a couple turns. We'll see what Slugma can do. We'll just try and buy time with Slugma until we can draw something. Wow, this game does not want me to draw anything, does it? I guess I could I could trap uh, this guy too, but then he hypnosis me. It'd be better. Maybe I just trap Malamar next turn. I don't know. I don't mind getting damage on him actually. If we ever get to a point where we actually can play, we can frost bullet knock it out without doing that much else. So I don't know if I want to trap Malamar or just keep his Giratina in the active spot. I don't think it matters. Giratina does have a bigger retreat cost, so like it hurts him even more. But it can actually attack me, so yeah, you can start to build it up, which is what he's doing. Yeah, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't think it matters. Wow, dude. This is just, this is tragic. We have a lot of outs to, like, Marshadow, so I'm, like, kind of upset <laughs> that we can't even do Marshadow here. Oh. Don't think it matters. I, I don't think it matters. I think we just keep memory. We can't really do anything, unfortunately. We're just stuck with what we got. I could obviously bench Ranguru, which I might do. We'll see if we're even in a threat. I mean, yeah, we can keep attacking him. If he attaches, we can just Guzma the Malamar up. Maybe try and buy more time. That, that ain't gonna work, buddy. Unless he drops a Dawnwings on me. If he drops a Dawnwings. We're not gonna lose this turn, though, because he doesn't have enough ways to build it up. We'll see. I can Faba the escape board off, but I'm just gonna goose in the Malamar. Can drop another Lele. Again, you know, wouldn't have happened if we had Glaceon in the active, which would have been pretty good actually, because then I guess he couldn't have grabbed a supporter. Cynthia. I highly doubt we're ever gonna get to a point where we like Magma Ring stall him to win, but who knows? Anything is possible at this point. I mean, I guess it's actually not not possible because of spell tag. If you knock a Malamar, he'll spell tag me. Alright, what do we draw? Drew an EV, but we don't have a water. I might wait till we get a water energy to play that down. I th we can buy some time. We, we were able to buy a couple of turns here, so this is good. Well, wait, if we can draw water energy, 
or energy lotto we'll try and go for eevee and we'll bench it i don't want to bench it and then evolve next turn and have no energy on it and then you know hidden guzma knocks it out not a good strategy so i think we're just gonna keep bringing stuff up and trying to slow him down a little bit I guess Slugma was the best dirt we could have asked for in a situation like this. This guy put a counter energy. What? This guy put counter energy. What, dude? You can attack him with Malamar. Thankfully, though, he doesn't one shot me. That's a ball. Not helping. Ah, right, you know, screwed. We're gonna get rid of that spell tag. I could have got rid of the counter energy. I get whatever. It does not matter. I honestly don't say we're winning this. We're just going to try and buy some time until we can find a water energy. And that could be okay. We have... Seven turns! Never mind, he attached. So maybe I should have fabbed that off. I got it. does not matter. Ultra Ball. Alright, there we go. We can attempt to do something. Might as well stretch her, I guess. So we can make an attempted comeback. I don't even know if that's a real word or not, but I'm gonna make it up and say that it is. I think we'll just keep Magma ringing him. We'll play that down anyways. I'm, I'm not gonna play Macargo. Uh, we are. I'm gonna do Palpad now. Get those two back. Cause I kind of wasted them. And I might actually need the Fab to give her a spell tag. It might actually make a difference. Cynthia, I could judge him, but I am. In desperate need of like just drawing anything I can to find a water energy. I forgot to do stretcher, whatever, I don't think we need to do it anyways. Yeah, it's fine. We got the water. He probably has a Guzma here. Hopefully not. If he doesn't, that'd be great. We can nest ball for a ditto. I think I'm just gonna hold it. I don't Mucky's good, I guess, to shut this down, but there's nothing really else threatening right now. We're just going to Magma Ring him and hope for the best. If he has a Guzma, I think he just Psy Storms me. So I really hope he doesn't. No, he does. Crap. He had the Guzma. This is definitely not convenient. There's a lot of energy in play. Okay, well... We do have a Aqua Patch, so maybe I can bring out Slugma. I could make, if I hit Aqua Patch, Glaceon, and DCE, that'd be good. Actually, it doesn't matter. You just wrecked some Sinistar. All right, you know this game is a lost cause. Yeah, we're not winning this. Let's for muscle. What is this deck? All right, guys, we're gonna do some more games with the deck here. Hopefully, we get some good locks in. Hopefully, we don't get a bad start again either. But we did good against that Rayquaza deck. We showed off kind of what the idea is. You wanna get that turn one Glaceon off. My opponent really couldn't do much because he couldn't do Lele and he couldn't do Rayquaza. Might be against a Buzzwool Macargo deck. Which is my best guess. We won the coin flip though, so we're consistent with our coin flip winning, which is good. Let's see what we start with. Okay, that is finally a better start. And Ditto's actually pretty useful too, I think. We could probably use Muck in this matchup, I would say. I would say Muck is decent here. Alright, let's see. Search his own Ditto. Nice, we drew Energy Lotto. So this is a pretty good hand. Did we prize our Lele? No, we didn't. Never mind. Rip. How much water should we prize? We prize one water, we have all our DCEs, we have our choice bands, we have our Macargo. We don't have our muck yet. Do we not have our muck? <clears throat> no muck. <coughs> okay, well. I think this is fine. We can treasure for Lily. We can Marshadow him. And probably get the turn one lock off. I think we'll do Energy Lotto, thins up the deck a little bit. Actually, no, you know, we'll save it, because we're going to be drawing a lot of cards, so if we don't draw the Energy Lotto here, we can get it off of this. Yeah, there we go. Boom. Alright, glad I saved it. Big brain moves, folks. Okay, so we marsh out of him. Pretty good board state, too, I would say. 
Don't know where to put this. I'm just gonna put it on Ditto. Or Lele. Lele can actually attack in this match, I don't forget. We'll put it on Ditto. I just don't wanna draw it. I don't know. We'll draw Marshadow on him. Alright, let's see how this works. Nice, we got Lily. Okay. Let's see what he does. He's probably gonna get a supporter off of this four. None of my Marsh Shadows ever stick. He's playing a Dawn Van Jack. Rip. <laughs> and he hit the Lily. So great, Glaceon doesn't even do anything this matchup. Awesome. Great. All right, well, that's pretty annoying. But what isn't annoying is that we knock out Ditto. And we, we break the Sash, too, so there's something to it. See how we do, though. Dawn Fan is not a very fun matchup to play against, though, because it, like, we can't beat it. <laughs> I just don't think we can beat it. Alright. Do I hold the hand? Yeah, I'm fine with that. Hit the Fampy. What's our prize? Cynthia. Okay, so let's see what my opponent does. He has a Dawn Fan, and he probably has the Fight Energy to go with it. <sighs> Unfortunately, we cannot Glaceon him too effectively. He's got 103 HP, so he takes a hit from two... My frost bullet, snipe on the bench, and the active. Alright, let's see if he has an energy. If he doesn't have energy here, this is good. I don't know, I'm really thinking Kikui might be needing this deck, but I don't know. Alright, he did get the energy, that's pretty good. So let's see what we top deck. Okay. Pretty good time just to get rid of that DC, I think. Smooth over for water energy. Unfortunately, we have to kind of put up with Shine, but whatever. We could have Polar Spear done. But you know what? I'm fine with this. We'll see if he has Last Chance Potion. But next turn, I can Guzma the Fampy and knock this out, which I'm probably going to do. I guess I could have taken the Polar Spear knock it out. I, I, can, I don't know. I don't know if it matters. I don't know. I think we're okay. No, we are not. Any Last Chance Potion, so I, took, I should took the knock out. That Fabo was nice though, slow him down quite a bit. I see like switches in a buzzle or something. Another DCE. Alright, we need to find our enhanced hammers now. Fortunately we can't smooth over for one. So I could Guzma the other Dawn fan. I might do that. Any last chance potions? Maybe it's better to put him on a range of doing last chance potion. Because he actually can't do it if we frost bullet him once. And I want to find my enhanced hammers here. But that play does seem very tempting. Hmm, I don't know. One way we could try and win, by the way, is maybe resource management, get our enhanced hammers and fab us back. Um, do I want to do that play? Last chance potion would be awful, but I'm actually, you know what, let's do it. Shrine is going to be a problem, though. We don't have a way to stop it, but I can get enhanced hammer finally for next turn. We have Ace Rolla, so we do have an out, and we can break that Sash. We'll see if he last chance potions. Oh, break the Sturdy. I keep, even when I'm not making a Dawn Fan video, I'm saying Sash. Life Herb, uh-oh. And he got heads, okay. What does he heal? The Bench, that's fine. It doesn't last, if he last chance potions and does that in the same turn, my goodness. This man defeated the internet. He defeated the internet! Yo, what? You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. 
Oh my gosh. Custom catcher? Bro, what? Okay, well, good thing this is in her hand. Shrine, though, man. Shrine is not good. I guess we can fab a shrine away, but you know what? It's a little too late for that. Ain't it? Let me smooth over. Probably for another enhanced hammer. Yeah, sure. I'm either looking for enhanced hammer, pal pet, or ace rolla at this point, too. I'm just gonna keep doing frost bullet. He can't do last chance potion now because he has 40 HP remaining. Really need to get rid of that shrine, though. I don't know how many he's playing. Which is the issue. Sudi Nest Balls 4. Probably another Buzzwool. No, another Fan Beat. I thought he would give up on Dawn Fan by now because we're getting rid of all his energy. Yo, this guy ain't missing a beat with these DCEs. Alright, we'll enhance Hammer that away. Probably, I don't know, I'm, I might just get rid of this one, honestly. Gosh, these shrines, though. Well, I mean, we're setting that one up to be KO'd. Might as well just get rid of the Fampy. With Cynthia looking for Palpad. We did not find it, Rip. We got Ace Rolla, so that's the start. Not any time we need Palpad. We can get it now. We're gonna have to try and fab that away. Just in case. We might need to tackle Lele. We're just gonna hit that Dawn fan in case he brings it up. Oh, you know what? Maybe I should grab DC in case he knocks me out. Oh, rip. Oh, yeah, maybe I should have DC'd. Oh, never mind. He's gonna bring out Buzzwool. I mean, I guess he can sledgehammer me. Maybe I should hit this instead of that. Oh, never mind. He doesn't have any. Alright, we're gonna ace roll the Glacian then. Ace Rolla is huge. Very, very huge. Alright, we're gonna Pal Pad. Get back Ace Rolla and Faba. We're gonna Ultra Ball away Marshadow and Choice Band. So we can thin a little bit. Smooth over for Faba. So the next turn we can try and get rid of that shrine. And we are gonna do this. We're gonna hit that Fampy. Let's see if he gets the energy. If he does, we'll have to knock him out Lele. Yes, he got rid of a shrine. That's what I wanna see. He's gotta find energy here. Even if it's instruct for two, I have pretty high Pretty high ex predictions here. He's gonna find it. He hasn't played one yet. He's gotta find a fine energy at some point. Yep, there it is. We'll have to knock him out Lele. And I'm gonna have to try and. I don't know. This is actually really bad. Do we have our Aqua Patch? We do. Yeah, this is actually worse than I thought it would be, to be honest. Especially because I have to knock him out Lele. Of all things. Alright, la- oh, Man, I really want to give her that shrine, but... I might have to get rid of that instead. Just so he can't attack me and knock me out next turn. Well, then we'll get Ace Roll, though. Alright, let's see what our prize is. Switch, not bad. Well, not great either, but, um... I might have to do resource management if I can find my stretcher. So I can get back that Faba. Bit of a waste of Faba, but... The good thing is, he is now out of double color synergies, right? You are out of DCs, you are out of DCs. So we were able to mill him out of all his DCs. Unfortunately, that shrine is... picking away. But we have Ace Rolla, so we can save... Save Lele for later. 
and the only other threat in play is Buzzle, which I don't think he got back. Yeah, he didn't get Buzzle back. It's an Ultra Ball. Yay, there we go. Last chance potion getting discarded. That's what I like to see. I, I, I don't know if Lele is really going to survive, though, to be honest. But if we can get, like, a couple turns of Lele, we'll be good. So then we can ace roll it. Let's see if we draw. Yeah. What? I did really just say, let's see if we draw. And I knew we were going to draw. Okay, we're going to smooth over for that DCE so we can ace roll it into Glacia next turn. Or just energy drive him. Not in range of healing it, and he's in range of getting knocked out of the hospital. Right? I am scared of like a switch tackle knockout. Like I'm predicting that will happen. If he does that, this win is gonna be pretty hard because we're gonna try and deny him this two prize, the two prizes here, with this Ace Rolla. So I really hope he doesn't switch and tackle me, but that could happen. That really could happen. That's what I'm scared of. Don't do it. Ultra Ball. Okay, that's not for Switch. He might get Slugma here. No, never mind. He's ditching the Macargo entirely. Over another Dawn fan. Alright, if he evolves it, then we don't have to worry about that tackle. Knock it out. Right, we don't have to worry about tackle. We're somehow... We're somehow making it, folks. Really surprised right now. Really surprised. All I need to do is find Stretcher, and I can try and just resource management for my stuff back, and I should be good at that point. Which I'm tempted to smooth over four. And screw it. You know what? We're going to get that Stretcher, because I am really dedicated to the Ranguru. And we're not going to attack next turn. I'm fine with losing to Ranguru if it means I can do some mess up his Dawn fans a little bit. There's Muck. That's nice. We're going to get that and play ASAP. Or not. I don't know. It doesn't matter. I mean, it's nice to have Ditto, but we have the Switch, so it's fine. So, Lily. So, I, yeah, I think we're just going to go Ranguru here and try and get our stuff back. I am scared of a Guzma, though. He's only played two. So I might judge him if that matters. I don't know. Or maybe i just take the Knockout. Probably better, honestly, just to take the KO. Yeah, I think it's better just to take the KO. At this point, I think we're good to win the game. Especially because I can just mock for DCE. And we, can, we still haven't used our GX tax, so we're good on that front. Maybe just Frost Bullet. I guess we'll hit Dawn Fan. He could do a Life Herb out of nowhere. That would screw me up pretty badly. So I think we'll just hit Dawn Fan again. And we're on course to hopefully winning this game. Actually, I don't think- No, we can't even kill me with rolling spin here. So yeah, this is really good. We came clutch. And yeah, we won. Okay. Okay, that was a pretty, pretty intense match. Can't lie. That was pretty intense. We got pretty lucky there. I guess I didn't even knew that, but for style points, we're going to do 300 damage and knock him out. So, I did one. So, that was a matchup where literally the lock did nothing. Um, interesting. Ooh, he did have multiple life herbs. So I'm glad he didn't spam those. That would have been pretty bad. He had a lot of healing. He had multiple shrines. Okay, well. Oh, only two Guzmas. So, a lot of interesting things. But, we got lucky. I guess, Faba and Enhanced Hammer came in so clutch there. Alright, we'll do another game. And hopefully we can get some more locks going. Alright, let's go do another game. Hopefully we get some good turn one Glaceon locks off. See what we can do. Alright, we're up against Blacephalon, it looks like, which is probably a better match for us because he's a fire type and we go first. I think going first against Blacephalon gives us a huge advantage. As long as we can turn one Glaceon. If we don't get turn one Glaceon off, it's not good. But we, we have to guarantee we get an EV down into Glaceon. Even if we don't start with it, it's good to get it. But, if I can get him to a 4 card hand, start with Glaceon, I can definitely prevent him from doing Tapu Lele. But Glaceon doesn't really do much in this matchup, though. We got the turn on Glaceon. Um, 
Not too sure how I feel about this hand, though. We'll see. Okay, that makes it a little bit better. So we'll Water Energy the Eevee. Turn this boy into Glaceon. So, see we prize. We have one Marshadow, we have our Ditto, we have both Glaceons, we have all our Eevees, we have our Macargo. We don't have our Slugma. Good to know. Got all our DCs, which is important. How many Energy Lottos? One. Okay, so... I either go Lily or Marshadow off this Ultra Ball. I think I do want to put him into a four card hand. Just hope for the best. Get rid of... Probably just Guzman Water Energy, if I'm be honest with you. I, can't, I guess we could do Lily. Yeah, you know what? Lily probably is the better play here. Yeah. I don't know if we need to disrupt him right away. It's not, a, it's not an urgency or anything. So whatever. We'll get Ditto for sure. Probably going to turn that into Macargo. Uh, we'll skateboard Lele, actually. Yeah, might as well just go for Lily. We'll probably, we can probably hit a Marshadow off of this, hopefully. We only have one, but we do have our Ultra Balls, and we still have that treasure. We'll go for Lily. Alright, we got Marshadow. Got another Nest Ball. Yeah, we'll play it. Just put another Eevee down, I guess. We'll go for Marshadow. Put his hand nice and low. Yes. That confuses me. <laughs> Alright, here we go. What do we get? Got Choice Band. We don't have a Judge. Okay, so we actually don't have a DC for next turn. We do have a Choice Band, though. Just gonna hold it. Alright, we judged him. Hopefully he can't do Lele. He probably did get a supporter off of this. None of my Marsh Shadows have stuck at all. Other than that one, so... If I say other than that one, you guys don't know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about that Lapras game. That Quagsire game that I got. That it... Uh, I didn't have Guzma, my dad. Treasure. Okay, as long as that last card is not a Lily, he can't do Lele here, which is really important. He might actually go for Bursting Burn, which would be pretty bad. Please don't be a Lily. Okay, good. Yeah, he's going for Bursting Burn, I was right. So, yeah, his hand is stuck, and I have to judge him. Not a fan of that. I might just evolve Eevee. Ooh, we drew a Guzma. Okay, it's not really a big deal. I don't really want to judge him because it's not a good idea. I do think we need Guzma, though, for taking up the Cephalons. Um, it's got no energy in the discard. I don't really want to do the Judge. I think what I do, honestly, I might just Guzma one of the Poiples up. But I want to get an early knockout on this stuff one too, which is kind of the thing. But I don't want to stay in the active because I'm already burned. And if I take too much damage... If we get unburned here, we'll still have 106 HP, so he still has to discard 4 to knock me out. Burn me. But I mean, at the end of the day, he's still going to go with Blacephalon. See, maybe I just stay in the active. Yeah, if we can get unburned here, that'd be great. Okay, good. So yeah, now we at least can... He has to still get four to knock me out. I could have done Guzma, but like, if he just retreats and does another Bursting Burn, we're back to square one. I mean, we have a lot of switching cards, but I'm just going to hold off for now. I just got to hope he's just not drawing anything. He might do his GX attack to take a prize, which might give him something. And then at that point, I guess we'll judge him. I don't know. I really need to find my DC, though. He, what? And he bursts and he burns me again. I'm surprised he's not doing burst. Alright, we stay burned. Not a big deal. Alright, we do Lily. Really. See if we get anything good. Got DCEs. I mean... Hmm... Do I just try and attack him? Problem is, we hit Tails. He'll knock me out next turn, but we do have another DC to respond with. So we're just gonna go for it. YOLO! We hit it. Beautiful. We got him. Got him! 
see what our prizes are. Don't know what I prize. There's a Mars Shadow. A hey, Aqua Patch. Okay, that's good. It's actually relevant for the other Eevee there. Okay, so we'll Guzma next turn if he benches another Bolcephalon. And again, because Glacian is the active, he has no way to get Lele. He has to be, he's in top deck mode completely. So it's going to be hard for him to get B-Strings. He has to go off this turn with B-String to really make a stance. But even if he does, yeah, we have the other Glaceons. So like, we're going to win. Yeah, we win. And that's basically what the deck is all about. You beat matchups like that. I mean, to be fair, Bolcephalon's is not a hard matchup. But not going first is a detriment. Yeah, he had the Lele, but like he just couldn't do much there because we just locked him out of it. And yeah, you can beat Blacephalon fairly easily with Glaceon. As long as you go first, because again, Blacephalon is still a pretty big threat. I feel like because Glaceon takes a couple turns to build up, like the Aqua Patch is really good against Blacephalon, I find, because it allows you to get the extra energy into play. But I am going to wrap up today's PCGO video here. We did get a couple games where we showed off that Glaceon lock combo. Um, but again, it's really all about just getting into play uh this is by the way i want i might make a video on this the glaceon red card peaking red card tormenting spray deck but yeah glaceon mars shadow glaceon judge glaceon turn one lock in standard is it a good deck i think it's fine again it locks out a lot of decks that rely on gx abilities like zoark lele heavy builds obviously alola nine tails is another big one rayquaza so glaceon can win you games but against a non-GX deck, I mean, you're going to have to take a different route at winning. But yeah, I think we did good showing off the lock and everything. But yeah, thanks for watching this PCGO video. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like. And don't forget to subscribe to help me reach 4,000 subscribers as stated before. Catch you guys in another PCGO video. Have a good day. Hope you enjoyed. And yeah, I'll probably upload that other gameplay I got without Guzma in the deck. Because that was a very insane match. Let's see you guys later. Bye.